Hey guys, this is Zen, founder and CEO of Connected Widgets. I wanted to talk to you today about our new product, the Kmometer, which is a connected Wi-Fi thermometer, and share with you a little bit about our company and our product vision. I hope that you will really support us in this journey. So let me show you the product uh, in the flesh. Um, so here it is, the Kmometer. Um, and let me describe to you some of the interesting hardware features. So first off, you'll see that there's um, <clears throat> some LEDs in the front that convey status about the Wi-Fi activity, as well as the charging status of the internal rechargeable battery. That battery gets charged via micro USB port, as you can see here. And that battery can, on on one charge can work for uh, to 18 hours continuously and that's at a sampling rate <clears throat> of uh, temperature uh, being reported to uh, your smartphone or tablet uh, once every three seconds okay and so you can also of course have an external USB battery that you can connect to the micro USB port if you wanted to run it for a lot longer, maybe even days, for example. Um, and that's part of the beauty of this is that you can use this at the same time that it's being charged. Then, of course, if you wanted to conserve battery life when you're not using it, there's a convenient uh, power switch at the back so that way you can shut this guy off when it's just not doing anything. It's probably a smart thing to do. And then, of course, the most important part is the actual uh, Type K thermocouple connector right at the front you see here. This is an industry standard <clears throat> type connector um, that can accept any uh, type K thermocouple probe that conforms to this connector type, which is great because um, if you don't want to use the <clears throat> included probe that we have, let's say you have an application that needs some other kind of probe, you can actually just swap it out for that particular probe. You know, you're not, unlike competitor products, you're not locked into specific connector type and locked into buying their probes. <clears throat> so you have a freedom to move around a little bit there and you know use the, the type that fits your specific application. Um, let's see what else. Oh yes, and then uh, speaking of the probe, this is the one that will be included in the box. And this probe is designed to be very robust. One of its competitive advantages is that um, you can put this in the oven or grill for a long period of time, you know, seven to eight hours, sometimes even up to a day, uh, cooking your turkey, you know, for seven to eight hours, uh, or if you're, if you're smoking barbecue for a long time, it will be able to withstand high heat temperatures for a very long period of time. Um, and it's also very robust in the sense that you can see here there's a stainless steel sheath to protect the cable <clears throat> from getting pulled out um, very easily. Uh, and the, the actual cable itself is protected with a, a stainless steel braid um, material. And the probe itself is of is food safe. It's actually made out of a food grade material called uh, SS304. That's also industry standard and if you want more details on that you can look that up. So great. So um, with the Kmometer we will finally have a connected Wi-Fi thermometer that can take the heat. H how many times have you guys been truly disappointed in the past by probes that just melted or you know, getting just bad range of the device, <clears throat> getting like random disconnects here and there. Um, I'm telling you, the Kmometer is here to save the day. The 
like I mentioned earlier, the sensor in the probe it uses is something called a type K thermocouple. If you don't know what that means, basically it's an industry standard temperature sensor type that can withstand extreme high heat for a prolonged period of time, a very long period of time. As I mentioned earlier, you know, we're talking seven to eight hours as you're cooking that turkey or smoking that perfect barbecue. Competitor products can't hang with this because they're using a different kind of sensor that is actually very susceptible to moisture damage. What that means is that if you, <clears throat> over time, if you keep using it and exposing it to that kind of temperature for that many hours, those that probe will basically just stop working. Um, you're going to have to replace the probe. And of course, you know, the more times you do that, the more costly that's going to be. So, um, you know, that's, that's, that's not a very attractive thing. Also, <clears throat> the cable that these guys use is not robust enough to withstand extreme high heat temperatures. Um, so what happens is that the, the, the material surrounding the inside cable uh, actually ends up melting, you know, which is, you don't need to, you don't need me to tell you that that's not very good. Um, <clears throat> So as I mentioned, the, the cable for our probe is, is very robust. It you know, is protected not only by a, a stainless steel sheath, but the cable itself is also um, protected with stainless steel braid material. Again, the probe itself is made out of food grade material, uh, which is called SS304. Um, so overall, it's, it's designed to be very safe and very robust. So that is the what are we making, and so let's talk about why we're actually making this. Well, aside from making sure that you're making the most perfect turkey, barbecue, or even marshmallows every time, there's actually a, a safety reason. The only way to truly know if your food is safe to eat is if you cook it to the exact internal temperature recommended by the USDA. For example, for turkey, that's 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, recent research has shown that the color and the texture of the food are not reliable indicators of whether the food is truly good. I mean, we've done it all sometimes, right? Like when we're cooking burgers or we're cooking chicken, we tend to look at the color and the texture of it and go, yeah, it's about done. Um, turns out that that's not a reliable indicator, and the only way um, to avoid foodborne illness due to undercooking um, is to check the internal temperature of the food. And without that information, um, you're taking a risk. You're taking a risk that you can get very sick. Not only you, but the people you might be taking care of, like uh, young ones and uh, seniors that are the most susceptible to foodborne illnesses, um, <clears throat> especially like salmonella, you know, which you hear a lot about in the news, um, something called Campylobacter. Uh, two of these bacteria are, are pretty much, uh, you know, are, are predominant in, uh, you know, undercooked meats. So that's something that you want to be aware of and, and be careful. Um, of. So in fact, foodborne illness is actually a very big public health challenge in the United States alone. The CDC estimates that every year there are 48 million, 48 million cases resulting in 128,000 hospital trips and out of that unfortunately 3,000 fatalities. Now that's really too much of a problem to ignore and we can really reduce these numbers dramatically and save a ton of lives, a ton of lives if more households in America um, had something like the K-mometer. Um, and, you know, um, think also about the, the, the total financial impact of society this problem has. You know, more hosp people making hospital trips means uh, more of a taxation on our health system um, you know, on our government having to spend money to support that, 
it, it's, it's really a big social problem that is actually quite underestimated. And that's a great segue into why we're building Connected Widgets, this company. We want to help solve real world challenges with our connected devices. It's not just about being cool. It's not just about the coolness factor of the product. We believe that it should also address a real need or a real problem. And at the same time, be affordable too. Um, you know, we want it all. I mean, how many times have you gone into like Best Buy or Target or even Walmart and been like, hmm, man, that looks like a cool gizmo that I can actually use but it's way too pricey for me. I mean, it's over a hundred bucks, sometimes, you know, even more than that. And, um, you know, as a consumer, even for myself, because um, I love gadgets and, you know, it's just way too pricey. Um, I get like the sticker shock, right? And, um, you know, I walk away from it. So our goal is to get everybody using these kind of connected devices. And in order to do that, they need to be affordable. Um, it needs to be so that everyone can have access to them, not just um, the, the middle or upper class income range. Um, and the K-Monitor is only the first device in, in which what I hope to be a pipeline of devices that will help solve um, different specific challenges in our daily lives, uh, sometimes by themselves, but sometimes you know they could also work with other devices to um, uh, to solve uh, real world challenges. The last point I wanted to make is that these devices should also, of course, be fun to use. Um, how many times have you used a gizmo for a few weeks and then it just sits on the shelf collecting dust? Uh, we don't want that to happen. <laughs> so that's why we're also building a true reward system into our mobile app experience. You can collect points for using the K-Mometer on a regular basis and then redeem them later for some pretty interesting rewards. So not only are you going to be ensuring that the food you cook tastes awesome, uh, but that it's safe, and then you'll have fun doing it at the same time. All right, guys, thank you for uh, taking our time uh, watching this video to really understand our product and company vision in more detail. If you like what you saw here, would really appreciate your backing and your contribution and your continued support for this project. When you support the K-Monitor, uh, you're not only going to get a great device, but you're also going to make a small uh, investment into connected widgets that will help us bring uh, more kinds of these products into the market for hopefully a long time to come. Thank you very much for your support.